Juno. Welcome back. Taking a look at the Great Falls Clinic ICAM, we are seeing some nice sunny skies. You can expect to start the evening off um, with some mostly clear skies as well. Those winds are around 24 miles per hour with those gusts around 30 miles per hour. But if you're not a fan of those windy conditions, they are going to die down as we head throughout the night. Um, taking a look at your Helena Opportunity Bank of Montana weather cam, we're also seeing some nice sunny skies right now. A little bit less breezy with 13 mile per hour winds and those wind gusts up to 23 miles per hour. And then taking a look at your weather headlines. We're going to see some below freezing temperatures tonight in the lower elevations, um, which is going to be um, the coldest night of this fall season, especially because we're seeing we're starting off the night with um, some clear skies that will really drop those temperatures down. But an upcoming mild weekend is on the way with some more breezy conditions. However, tomorrow and Friday, you can expect some nice tranquil conditions um, in terms of that wind because it will be around 5 to 10 miles per hour. But colder temperatures are going to be on the way next week. But taking a look at your current temperatures right now into the upper 40s and the 50s around Great Falls, we're seeing around 50 degrees in Helena around 52 degrees and even up into the mid 50s over on the eastern portion of the state getting a little bit cooler the more um, closer you, or the higher you get in elevation but um, tonight you can expect those nice colder temperatures into the mid to upper 20s uh, again that cloud cover is going to increase as we head throughout the overnight hours to some partly cloudy skies which will just help dip these temperatures down even more so you'll definitely need a coat tonight and I went ahead and said that it's going to be cold Cold because it's going to be cold. It's um, definitely with those um, 20 degree temperatures, but we'll see those temperatures hype back up tomorrow into the upper 40s and the 50s, around 53 degrees for Great Falls and 48 degrees for that Helena area. Nice and cool, mostly sunny. And then we'll start to see those temperatures back up into the 70s and the upper 60s by next weekend. But this is all because of your upper level patterns. We have this nice upper level ridge streaming into the area, warming up those temperatures. And we'll see a nice northwesterly flow aloft by next weekend, which will increase those breezy conditions again, especially for the Rocky Mountain front. But this closed low off into the Pacific will continue to push through, bringing this nice trough into the area um, by next Monday and into next week, which will cool those temperatures down um, back into the 50s and the 40s but taking a look at your future track not going to notice a lot of cloud cover to start off the night again um, it will continue to increase especially in this western portion of the state and then we're not going to see a lot of precipitation during this period um, but you can expect next week there will be some more chances of that precipitation including showers and some upper elevation snow um, but this cloud cover will increase as we head throughout Friday especially towards the evening pushing up into the high line um, which will actually warm things up a little bit more but wind wise you probably notice some breezy conditions today at around six miles per hour or at around 6 p.m. <laughs> These winds will go down to 10 to 20 miles per hour um, cooling calming down even more as we head throughout the overnight hours again going to see a nice breezy list Friday, 5 to 10 miles per hour sustained as we head into Saturday. That's when those winds are going to pop up again, especially around the Rocky Mountain front. Up to 40 mile per hour winds are going to be possible throughout the evening. And then we'll see some more breezy conditions throughout this weekend.